Pokemon Radical Red, a Pokemon Fire Red ROM hack that has been enhanced to contain Pokemon through Generation 9, better, more challenging trainers and movesets, and additional boss fights. It is a game that I've attempted to Nuzlocke many times and have yet to succeed, even while playing on what some would call easy mode. But even on said easy mode, Radical Red has been the bane of my existence. In this video, I am challenging myself to number one, beat my previous Nuzlocke run, which is to make it past the Brock rematch, and number two, to Nuzlocke the full game to completion. Now, I don't know if we're going to complete both or even one of those objectives, but that's what I'm trying to do today. And with that being said, I will be taking advantage of an in-game application that will further my chances of success in this Nuzlocke. And that application is the Dex Nav. The Dex Nav allows the player to see every available Pokemon on each route. It also has a function that allows the player to encounter any Pokemon they wish. Normally in a Nuzlocke, the first encounter is random, and it's your only encounter on that route. Here, I will be able to select exactly which Pokemon I want to capture to round out my team. The Dex Nav is a game changer and may be just what I need to win. But will it be enough for an average Joe like me to finally beat one of Pokemon's best ROM hacks? You'll just have to watch to find out. Oh, and if you guys are excited about the video, enjoy the video later on, or at any point think, hey, I kind of like this video or I like this guy, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel. And of course, you could potentially win a Nintendo Switch that we're giving away at 10,000 subscribers. Before we hop into the run, I have a confession. I haven't only been playing Pokemon. I've also been addicted to another game, Raid Shadow Legends. What is considered by some to be a lame mobile game, I've learned is actually an epic strategy game. With over 800 heroes, a ton of bosses, as well as PvE, PvP, and CVC, this game has a ton of depth. It has so much depth that it may be intimidating to get into. This is where my favorite feature comes in, the auto battle mode. I'm constantly battling on the side to help increase my hero levels, grind for mastery scrolls, and defeat campaign levels. This feature allows me to play raid while I'm also doing other things. Oh, and you heard raid was pay to win? Fear not. The game does not require any in-game purchases or a purchase to play the game. And even without purchases, you can still build a strong team of heroes. I personally just hit level 38 and I have a few spots left in my clan. Join in-game by searching for the clan Stinky Pokemon. If this sounds like a fun game for you, click the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen. All new players will receive a free starter pack. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to the challenge. I start by grabbing Turtwig, my classic starter choice. Honestly though, I never end up using him after the early game, so there's probably a better choice if you want the best possible option. As I'm writing this script, Meganium has become a new favorite of mine. Absolutely insane later in the game. Our first encounter happens after we acquire the Dex Nav, so we'll have to take the die roll. And we hit a Young Goose, which is not fantastic, but it has some uses with its strong draw ability. From here, we're able to make our way north of Viridian City, where Oaksaid gives us the Dex Nav, officially allowing us to start choosing our encounters. Dex Nav, let's go! I was a bit overwhelmed right away with how many choices I actually had, because normally you just walk into the grass and you take what you get. Here, I actually could pick from every single option per route, and the amount of potential combinations was making my head spin. There's too many options, that's the problem. And because I'm going to have a ton of encounters in this run, I won't be mentioning where I grab each Pokemon. If you want to see this in future runs, let me know. Or if you don't really care where the Pokemon came from, I would like to hear that as well. But just to save time, I'm going to skip this part for the video. After putting together a handpicked team, it is time to see if I make good decisions with our encounters by facing Faulkner in the Pewter City Museum. Everybody's got an item, right? Or an or an or an or an. Okay. All right. Let's start off. 85% accurate, baby. Start it off. Very nice. But honestly, there is much to see here as we cruise through the fight easily leading us to our first official Kanto gym challenge of the Dex Nav Nuzlocke against Rock Trainer Brock. Let's go! Oh my goodness. Okay, that was sweet. Brock, by the way, was the one who ended our very best run, but later in the run and the rematch. I like this. This team seems okay. Everybody's got an item. Brock time. Yeah, I think we just mud shot here. All right. Gets another bulldoze in, sure. We're already slow as Christmas, doesn't matter. Absorb can heal us, so let's just stay in. Yeah, this thing is like OP against this fight. We're slow, we're so slow right now. Archin, now this can actually hit us harder with Pluck. Yeah, I think we just stay in for one Will-O-Wisp. Plus it has nothing to Pluck, which is nice. I only did 11 though, we might want to stay in for one hit. Or did five, because it's half now. I'm going to stay in. It can't snatch. We already ate our berry. Varum is the last Pokemon. That does two damage. Very nice. Uh, I guess I'll just go for Confusion. 
doing more than he's doing. Not hitting himself, that's fine. We just outpace here. Well, that was extremely easy. <laughs> pile of sand was crazy there. Whatever he's actually called. He's not pile of sand, he's Sandy Gas. Then he becomes pile of sand. A perfectly easy start to our run with Sandy Gas coming up big. But as we know, this run doesn't get any easier. Moving on to our next rival fight. FYI, there are a ridiculous amount of boss or mini boss fights in this game. So I'm going to jump past some for time's sake. I will mention if we lose a Pokemon though. All right, let's go, rival time. Oh, and it's Charmeleon. I forgot. Uh, I forgot to think about which starter it has. Do I have anything for Charmeleon? Um, I guess I have this. It's not terrible. Ha, can't move. Suck it. Oh, it has ancient power. Great. I probably should have looked at that. This is going to get dicey. Weak to fire. Weak to rock. Weak to fire. Weak to fire. Weak to fire. And weak to rock. Oh, gosh. We have intimidate on the bird. We need it to be using a fire move when we swap in, though, not a rock. Okay, so we know it's going to be using a rock move. So maybe we go into EX Gamer, beta fire move, intimidate there. Okay, now we go... Fire... Problem is flame burst is freaking... Yeah, it still does that much. It's gonna go... Rock again. And it's gonna get a freaking boost. That's the problem. Eventually, he's gonna para, right? Do we have to sack something? If we do, it probably needs to be the bird. We could probably endeavor it down, too. Okay, we could endeavor and para, para potential and then quick attack. Let's just try it. Oh, it's Thunder Punch, too. Great. I made a mistake planning, and I was expecting an Ivysaur, and it cost me a Pokemon. Our first loss of the run. I say we almost die. Oh my goodness. We're alive. Barely. We almost threw that fight unintentionally. These are the kind of sloppy losses that can really build up and eventually end a run. Really good Nuzlockers don't let these happen, and it is something I need to get better at for future runs. And speaking of sloppy losses, I made two more stupid mistakes on Nugget Bridge and lost both Sandy Gast and Bronzor, which could have been avoided. Let's go for a faint attack. It does nothing. Oh my gosh. Super effective. I forgot. I thought we I thought we resisted that. But when mistakes are made, I can't let them affect the rest of the run, and Misty is awaiting us. Let's see if we can give her a clean fight. Let's just go for it. Here we go. Lucario's gonna come in clutch right now, okay guys? There it is. There's the rock tomb. Flip turn. Okay. Oh, a critical hit! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, that sucks! We gotta go Metal Claw. That'll be give us the best chance. Okay, we didn't get crit. That's good. To keep Lucario alive. That looks like more than 37 and a half. Oh, boy. Let's just go for it. We're alive? Yes! Well, that was a range, I think. Okay, let's go here. Let's do that. Oh, it just did it anyway. Oh, I have cute charm. That's pretty good. So, all right, free fake out. Ah, uh, float soul. Okay, we're gonna go Gyarados pivot. Oh, we got crit too. Okay, so here it is. Please rock to him. Yes, okay. Okay, it's probably, it's going super slow right now. Probably going to Claude Sire on the, on the flip turn, right? All right, okay, flip turn. Claude Sire. Ouch. Oh, and I'm poisoned. Great. Oh, it has a berry. We are faster now, but with the berry, I think it survived Seed Bomb. I think we need to sack the Grottle. That did nothing. All right. All right. Frogadier's in. Yeah, I'm not super worried because we hit... Either way, we hit with a return. We hit pretty hard. Yep, there it comes. Okay, we did over half damage. That's good. I think I'm going to risk the return. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay, just killed it. Perfect. Okay. Oh, we're faster. I forgot we were faster. I forgot about that part. Well, we couldn't make it through without a sacrifice, but honestly, I don't use Grottle much after Misty in most runs anyway. So far, this run feels like it has way too many unnecessary losses, but thanks to our ability to choose encounters via the Dex Nav, I think we should be able to make up some ground compared to previous runs by grabbing awesome encounters. After doing a quick Pokemon Go raid, gotta beat the, the Reshiram. Stop wiggling in it. Look at this thing. It's wiggling all over the place. Uno. Dos. Yeah! Look at that! Oh 
Oh yeah, now we're talking. I quickly make my way through the SSA and mini bosses as well as taking on our rival, which we managed to get through smoothly. Anytime I can win multiple boss fights in a row without losing a Pokemon, I'm happy. After obtaining the cut TM, I decided that my team composition was not great for the Surge fight. I got to pick my encounters, so this was my fault. And so I decided to skip Surge and make my way through Rock Tunnel to get some extra encounters slash evolve Pokemon like Gligar with items in Celadon. After doing this, I still don't feel great about my chances against Surge, but I can't really delay any longer. All right, guys. This is going to be a tough fight, for sure. Let's see if we can figure it out. Lieutenant Surge. Okay, Electric Surge. Giga Drain. Okay, the Insta Switch. That's interesting. Let's go here. Okay, very annoying. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Drain Kiss. This isn't going well. Okay, I didn't hit it, so it's... Problem is, Synthesis only has five moves. Dude, that's doing a lot. That did a lot. Of course. Thank you. It is now simple. That should be big. I'm going to try to heal block. Okay, there we go. Let's try that now. Of course. I should have done that first. Heal block wore off. Interesting. Oh, we broke the sash! Oh! Yep, there it is. Oh, free damage. Okay, on Palmot. That's probably not bad. I think we have to Thunder Wave this. It doesn't affect it because of... Oh, this is an actual Gen 3. Oh, we're dead. I don't really see what else we could do. Yeah. Well, it wasn't really the Belly Bolt, I don't think. Okay, there we go. All right, Manetric. We could bait a Flame Burst by going here, which would be good. We could go to Arcanine and, and, and take the Intimidate. Oh. Oh, crap. The Surge is back up. Scald is really close to killing us, but Sticky Web could be pretty valuable here. He still has a lot of fast Pokemon. I'm going to do it. Okay, we're alive. It's a random move now, probably. Maybe we sack this, because Simple Beam is not going to get off next time. Sack that for a free swap into maybe there. Best move is probably Magical Leaf. Why is this? This thing is running very laggily. Don't be. Don't be. Yeah, good job. I could have prioed that, probably. Okay. Probably wants to go for Flame Burst, so now's a good time, right? By far, the best move is Flame Burst. Let's go here. Perfect. Perfect. We could probably kill the Pinchurchin with Accelerock if it doesn't kill. So let's, yeah, let's do this. Okay, there's the Pinchurchin. Okay, we took out the Raichu. That's, that's good, I guess. It went for Charge Beam. Ah! Oh, if I knew it was going for that, we could have Flare Blitzed. I think we have to go for Excel Rock again now. Okay, and then go here. And then Signal Beam. Okay, here's the good side. When this kills this, it's not gonna get a lot of HP back. So we just Signal Beam. It wastes the Parabolic Charge. And then we just First Impression. There we go. Okay, we are alive. As I said, we were not ready for Surge. Well, uh, I guess I was right. I was not ready for Surge. Losing four Pokemon is awful, and it was really close to the end of the run. I am just thankful to have made it out alive, but honestly, how much longer can this run go if I keep losing Pokemon at this rate? We may get our answer soon, because it's already time to take on Erica for our fourth gym badge. We're gonna do what we can do. All right, it's time. Hopefully this goes better than Surge did. All right, Rillaboom. I'm assuming that dual wing beats our best move, right? Okay, nice, good start. Okay, that was the easy one. It's just a swap, I think. It's gonna go for probably Thunderbolt or something, so let's just go here. 
Not bad. Okay, we're... Oh, and we recover. Nice. Oh, free damage. I'll take that. Okay, I like that, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in. Yeah, that was not a ton. We're both gonna be recovering a little bit. It swapped into Electrode. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's probably gonna explode, but that's fine. Sure, back in the Venusaur. Which we are gonna have to risk a crit, I think. Uh, let's just go to sight there, because I think he is definitely gonna hit the hardest. Well, he has a Pryo move. I guess that's good. Okay, and we lost the thing. That's good. Okay, did go to the Meowskerada. Probably gonna go for... Let's just do this. All right, we're in this, baby. Oh, it became grass. That sucks. We didn't really want that. Probably just go for Brick Break just for damage, right? In case it changes type. Dark, perfect. Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted. Now we mock Punch. Good, okay. Last Pokemon. I kind of want to stand for the Metal Claw. There's the Dazzling Gleam. Okay, now we have to go here. Okay. There we go. Got it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We did it, we did it. This thing is running like crap right now. Let's save this real quick before something weird happens. Honestly, a pretty smooth fight. I brought the gumshoes as a possible sack, so losing it is not a huge deal. There isn't really much time to rest, though, because Giovanni is awaiting us at the underground rocket hideout. This fight can be tricky. Hi there, Giovanni. Nice to see you. It's been a while. All right, we float in the air. Meteor mash. We simply do not miss. Please don't be a YouTube short. Oh, it attacked us. Oh. Okay. Sure. Let's just go here. Yeah. There it is. Okay. I was expecting that. Okay. I'm going to go for... I'm going to slow it down. It did go for bulk up again. Let's go dual wing beat. Okay. And we get critical hit. Okay. I'm going to do U-turn. I think we have to. Okay, Raging Bull, not bad. Let's go. Okay, nice. That looked like so little. Oh, and it lowers the fence! I forgot it lowers the fence! Oh, we're good! No! You jerk! Oh, that's good! Okay, that took away the boosts. That's good. We got a lot of damage on the Orthworm. Let's just attack. Ah! Let's go for Aqua Tail. Okay, we killed it. Perfect. Let's keep that HP for later. All right. It didn't suck a bunch. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's go for the range. Come on, baby. We need a range today. <gasps> it sucker punched. Ah! That wasn't even that close. That wasn't even that close. All right, we're lucky. Okay, let's just go for Rock Blast. Crit. Oh, a two hit. Come on. Okay. We're good. <gasps> Free damage. We don't have a lot of HP here, which I don't love. Okay, we did okay there. Fake out for more damage. Swap back. Doesn't affect us. Swap back. Yes, and it fell in love. I mean, what are the chances? Is that 50-50? Wait, Lil Putty doesn't outspeed the Kangaskhan. Ugh, that's not good. Ow. Oh, I got Q-Charmed again. Let's go. One more fake out. We take a lot from Crunch, so hopefully it does. I forgot the calcs were a three hit. We rolled two two hits. Oh, that sucks. A two hit, of course. I am intimidated, which sucks. Oh my goodness. How many times can we leave him on one HP? Ah! <sighs> Another boss fight where I lose a Pokemon. And this was a really good one. I'm still fuming about this range and the back-to-back -back two hit rolls. It feels like this run just can't string together a few good wins to get rolling. No matter, our rival in Sylphco is waiting to kill more of our Pokemon. Here we go. All right, Thunderbolt. 
One shot, baby. Oh, we go straight to Charizard. Interesting. I forgot about Drought. Okay. Oh, knockoff. Good. Dodge. Oh, and Fire Punch boost. The boost from the sun. Let's go. I think it's going to be a Zoomeril. Yeah, because if we do hurt it, he's going to recover with Giga Drain. So I think D-Dance is the move. Oh, you piece of crap. I think we just go to Ferrothorn and get rid of this thing while we can. Ah, predicted, buddy. The sun's back. That sucks. Okay. Yeah, let's go Gyarados. Ouch. We just go Aqua Tail this time for the swap. Ouch. It did a lot. It's dead. Okay, good. Back to the hard counter. Play rough. Takes a little bit more damage. Do we predict a swap again? Can you, can you toxic a grass type? All right. Perfect. Metagross. Yep, that's what I was expecting. Okay. Boom. Okay. A crit. Ouch. Oh, what just what just got dropped? What was that? I'm just gonna power whip. Oh, we got frostbite. Well, we're good. All right, there we go. We beat that fight. Perfect. Finally, a smooth boss fight. It feels great to make it out fully intact. The boss rush continues on to the dreaded rocket double battle accompanied by Brendan. Brendan, I am counting on you to be a stud right now. You got that? A stud. Let's go, Brendan. All right, here we go. You got this, Brendan. I believe in you. Dark pulse there. We got faked out. Uh... Okay. That wasn't terrible. Masquerade got waxed, but we can finish this here. We'll just go here. Perfect. Oh, how did it stay alive? Okay, good. Dark Pulse. Okay, we go down. You attacked the wrong Pokemon! What are you doing? I think we gotta go for the crunch here. Masquerade, do your thing. Okay, good. We took that out. Oh, what? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we're alive. Oh, that worked pretty good, except they're not dead. That's the problem. Let's do it. Nice hyper voice. Let's go. Look at that double hitting duo. Okay, we got an intimidate. Oh, good flamethrower. Oh. <gasps> Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm just gonna protect. Or focus black. Thank you, that, that didn't miss. <laughs> okay. Okay, Brendan. You weren't really a complete stud or anything, but you did okay. Another lost Pokemon, but I usually lose Glowitzer here, so nothing to fret about. But now, it's Giovanni 2 time. Let's go for it. Hard fight. It has ended a run, uh, uh, multiple runs for us before, so let's try not to end it here. Rain Dance. Uh all right, there are the rocks. I'm gonna swap out here. Okay, we dodge. Oh, I healed the poison. I knew I would do that. Crap, I healed the poison, so no double heal. All right, well, it's fine. We got this. Dang it. Because we'd be getting double heal. He sets it up again. Okay, yeah, he's automatically gonna set it up again. So we're gonna have to get him to lower HP before we use defog. And he's crushing us right now. Okay, he's gonna set him up again, so I think I attack. He didn't set him up again. Interesting. Okay, I think he's at a stone edge now, right? Okay, setting it up again. Oh! <gasps> That had to be five. Okay, that was five for sure, right? Sure, these go away. How many Stone Edge does he have? Oh, I guess he has extra maybe? Maybe he has eight? All right, well, we'll get the fake out off. Okay, there it goes. Here we go. 
Nice. Probably fake out, so we just go here. Swap to you. This is what we have to do. Okay. Expected. Oh, the double swords dance. That's not good. Now we're probably dead. I'm gonna do this. Oh, free damage! And he got rid of the sword stances. That was stupid. Why do you do that? Okay. Juked. He does that every time. Oh my gosh. Meganium's full HP. We just go here. It's pretty annoying. It's gonna heal. Giga Drain. Oh, it didn't heal. Definitely protect, right? Recover. Oh. Oh, it's so close. It's outpacing us by a little bit, I think. Oh, crit! There we go! Back to you for fake out. Man, he is struggling right now. It just swaps out every time. <gasps> yes! We break the sash! I'm just gonna go for this. Okay, real quick. Oh, the crit! No! That's so bad! Oh, we can't we can't get anything today. We cannot get luck! Give us some luck, man! Oh, it's terrible. So we just dodged the fake out. Now will he swap again is the question. Honestly, we should probably just stay in a Will-O-Wisp. Because no matter who he hits, it's not a bad move. Thank you for hitting the second time. My goodness. All right, we can shadow sneak, I think. All right. Oh, that didn't do, that did nothing. Okay. All right, good. Like you could have done that the whole time, dude. Probably finish this fight for us, I think. Even though it will be powering up a power up punch, which is scary. I'm just gonna go for a scald. He's under half, so. We can just ice shard. Let's just ice shard. Okay. Paralysis. You gotta be freaking. Okay, he's going for body slam. Oh my god. Of course he predicts it. That is such bull crap. Why would he use crunch there? Oh, but now I. Oh, I thought he was the last one. I forgot. Oh crap. Thank you. There we go. Okay, another stupid mistake. Accidentally healing the pre-poison Gligar caused me to make another mistake mid-battle and cost me one of our best Pokemon, which also snowballed into losing low punny as well. If you learned anything from this video, make sure you know your plan and double check your strategies before entering the battle. But the stupid mistakes don't end there. Sabrina wanted to get in on the fun during our fifth gym challenge, but what's new? It's Sabrina. Here we go. Activate the Mega Ring. Thank you. Sludge Bomb on Hatterene. Super effective. And we go for Pounce. Good. Why didn't it kill? That's bad. What's Psychic Seed? What's Psychic Seed? I don't even know what that is. Uh, I knew there was a reason why. I was like, why do I feel like this should be really hard to one-shot? That's why. Ah, oh, we should have doubled up on it. That's not good. Sludge Bomb, and then go to Gyarados. Oh, it outspeeds us. I forgot. Because <laughs> of Trick Room. Remember that move? Let's Body Slam there, and then go to you. Oh, Hatterene's even slower than me. Body slam. Try to get a knockoff off. It's not going to work. We could probably bait a high horsepower here if we go body slam and then swap here and get another intimidate off. Teleport. I could just double up and go for a body slam here. There's facade. Okay. All right, sure. We got to take out this Rosaluna, though. It might protect, though. That's the scary part. Ouch. We're still alive. Okay, let's just make sure this thing dies. Okay. Probably just dual wing beat. Let's just go for the kill. 
This fight kills us every time. I completely overlooked Hatterene's held Psychic Seed, which in turn allowed Sabrina to turn on Trick Room and absolutely murder my team. Yet another small mistake that cost me four Pokemon. I'm really bummed, but at the same time, this is why I love Nuzlocking these ROM hacks so much. It is so frustrating in situations like this, but so rewarding when a plan comes together. The highs and lows of a run really make for an exciting experience. And beating Sabrina unlocks Cycling Road, an array of new mini bosses. This is where the run made a turn for the better. I managed to beat nearly 10 mini bosses and our rival Brendan in Fuchsia City, all while losing only one Pokemon. I would go first and then go Giga Drain there. Wow, that did like zero damage. This clean stretch is really encouraging and gives me hope that I can achieve the goals I set for this run, especially getting a new personal best. Our previous best lost right where we are in this run. I made it to Fuchsia, and when I attempted to enter Koga's gym, it forced me to rematch the first four gym leaders. That's where the Brock Mega Aerodactyl incident I referenced early in the video happened. Oh, the crit! There it is. Of course, not paralyzed. Who would have thought? Oh, he has a wing beat. It doesn't matter. What? A I'm so stupid. Oh, I forgot. Oh, he crit too. Oh, I'm so stupid. But this time, I am determined to not only beat our run, but especially beat Brock. I will take that lousy, rock-headed dinosaur and bash its nose in. I will make Brock wish he had never gotten that stupid spiky haircut. I will overcome this radical red hurdle and go on to win it all. No one will stop me, not even Ash Ketchum himself. Okay, uh, maybe I need to calm down. After all that hype, I decided to rematch Misty first, because honestly, I thought she seemed like the easiest of the four rematches, and if we beat her, we technically move past our previous run and achieve one of our goals. Big goals here. Big goals. You gotta believe. If we win this fight, it's the farthest we've ever made it. Here we go. Leader Misty. Palafin. Sunlight upright. Good start. Okay. Expecting a flip turn. We go right to Storm Drain. Special. Oh, I forgot our special attack goes up. I think we anticipate a hard swap right to Seismitoad, which I guess our best move would be is it Signal Beam or Sludge Bomb here? Let's just go for a, a Signal Beam. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. Ferrothorn. I'm just going to go here. Oh, it didn't hit itself. That would have been nice. Okay. Either way, Flamethrower is going to do some damage. Could go for a bot. I'm just going to go Flamethrower. Yeah. Okay, we got out the Pokemon we want out. Let's just go here. Beautiful. It's gonna swap, but Giga Drain's gonna hit hard on basically everything. Sure. The good thing is they like to swap, and if you have hard counters, it can really, it can do well. I'm gonna go Giga Drain. All right, so it is plus one attack, plus one speed. If we kill this here, it's borderline, but there is a chance it survives on one HP. Oh, it just it just gave us free damage. Okay, Ferrothorn's back in, probably Leech Seed again. No, probably Gyro Ball, which we're fine with. Thunder Wave, let's go! He swaps again, free damage again. Oh, there's Palafin Hero. Okay, Palafin Hero's here. Let's just go here for the free, free pivot. Plus special. He's gonna swap out. He's not gonna drain punch, right? That'd be insane. He still has the toad. So we could predict that. Go for a, another signal beam for chip damage. That's probably the move. It's staying in. That's just Thunderbolt, I think. Okay, it finally stopped switching. So we got one of the Pokemon out. Okay, good. Here's Seismitoad. Okay, coming in with an Earthquake again is what we're expecting. So we go to EX Rita. Perfect. It's gonna swap out again. Free hit on Ferrothorn. We're gonna keep getting chipped, which is annoying, but we finally got Thunder Waved. Uh, of course the fire goes, or the thing goes away right there. That's annoying. Okay. Hmm. Kingdra, our answer was Lucario, correct? I think we just go here. A critical hit. And that's a high crit ratio, doesn't it? It does, but... Oh, the hard pivot to Gorbis. Oh, no. Okay, that sucks. Who's our Gorbis guy again? Lime? Okay, there it goes. Okay, I wasn't expecting that one. Please don't die. It swapped! Yes! Best safe scenario! No way! All of that for it to swap. We still only taken out one Pokemon. This is taking so long. Okay, we got the sun back up. That's good. It's slowly chipping us like this. I don't like it. All right, Seismitoad. 
Okay. Swap again, please. Ferrothorn. That's an amazing crit right there. Okay. Already paralyzed. Suck it, buddy. No! Come on! Come on! You gotta be kidding me! Stupid paralysis. This is probably a free setup for stealth rocks, right? Oh, plus iron barbs. All right, uh, we can't toxic him, unfortunately. Power whip does like zero, wait. Oh, Rocky Helmet, that's gonna hurt. Okay, do we just protect? I can't remember. Let's heal a little bit. Uh, I don't really wanna hit it because it's doing a lot of damage. Let's just protect again, why not? I'm taking, I'm healing. Yeah, I just protect every turn because he hurts himself more than I hurt him. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal up like this. Okay, nice. Okay, Gyarados Mega. Oh, you're fine, actually. This is good. You don't take too much from anything, so I'm just gonna... Defense fell. That's annoying. Okay. All right, Kingdra. Now, you have been a problem earlier because you didn't die when you were supposed to. Okay, Kingdra. Let's just... Yeah, let's scout it out. Hurricane. Okay, sure. Oh, wait. Gorbis dies to rocks. We don't have to care about Gorbis, so we just go here. Yeah, Gorbis just dies a rock. So we go here, we take the hurricane. I'm just gonna use signal beam. Okay, that'll work. Sure, why not? Okay, I'm gonna signal beam again. Okay, Seismitoad, sure, go for it. Get juked. Get giga drained. And you die. Let's go! Oh wow, that was insane! Gyarodosite! Mega Gyarados. Okay, maybe not easy, but we did it. This run is officially the farthest I've ever made it in a Radical Red Nuzlocke, but we still have work to do. Brock and his Aerodactyl await our challenge. And it was at this point I took several weeks off streaming because I was moving into a new house. This shouldn't be relevant to the run, except that it made me forget how to press buttons correctly. All right, I am ready. Let's go. Tessarina. All right, here we go. Is it gonna swap? Surely not, right? It missed! <laughs> Oh, what a great start. It missed I jump kick. All right, scary. I didn't mega evolve it. Oh, no. I might have just thrown the whole fight. What a huge mistake. We're not completely dead yet. Uh, That's the good side. Yes, perfect. Zen headbutt. Should have seen that coming! Okay, we have leftovers anyway, so who cares? Oh, just did that again. Sure, sunlight faded. Oh, okay, sure. Alright, good damage there. Swap into Metagross. Okay. Juked, so a Zen headbutt should kill it. We we should kill it. Should kill it. Yep, we're fine. Nothing to worry about. Alright. Okay. Oh, it lowered defense. We're good. We just we just fire lash now. I think we stay in here. Don't kill us. Oh! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, we should outspeed here because there is no weather and we should just be able to fire lash and kill it. Wow. Okay, we can take that. Yes, you turn. Oh my goodness. No, that would have gone so well. I'm so sad. I'm a sorry, Altaria. Uh, yeah, I just forgot to Mega Evolve, or else that would have been a perfect fight. Partially because I hadn't been playing in a while, and partially because I just can't help myself from throwing. And speaking of throwing, oh gosh, let's try to get a let's try to get a good fight here. All right, here he goes. That thing looks crazy on this. I'm gonna go for a lead off Toxic Spikes. Now we go for Rapid Spin. He's going to go for the, the things again. So I need to go here and finish it off before it does that. Mm. 
I thought he was going for rocks. That did not do as much as it was supposed to do. Oh, I forgot about those! Son of a nutcracker! Oh no, we're screwed. Alright, we get a special attack boost. That's great. Okay, I think that it might swap, but either way, let's just go for it. Okay, iron hands. Why is it so small? Why is it so laggy, too? Okay, hurt by poison. That's good. I didn't get the second one off because I threw at the beginning again. Okay, now we can fully heal with the protect. Okay. Rotom again. Gonna be going for water move, so we just go here. Go for Thunderbolt again. Oh, it doesn't affect it. Our only option is this swap, though. Oh, we are screwed now. We have to go here. Okay, I'm predicting Iron Treads. I'm just gonna predict Iron Treads and hope it goes for it. I'm going Signal Beam. Please go, Treads. Please kill! If you smell what the rock is cooking. Yes! Oh, that's huge. I knew I was right to be worried about that thing. That's our first Pokemon. We've taken it out. Okay, we've poisoned it. That's good. All right, we've been intimidated. So we've poisoned two Pokemon. Oh, so bad. We need to get Fortress back in somehow to get these rocks away. I think it will. Take damage. It's going hit power grass. I think we could survive. Son of a nutcracker, man. Okay, let's do that then. It stayed in. Perfect. Okay, we took damage, but we, it stayed in. There's the there's the Intimidate from Minetric. That's good. Rising Voltage. Okay. There's extra poison damage. Go here. Takes damage. Let's go for Earthquake. Okay, no crit. That was good. Okay, good. Go here. Protect. Ice punch. Okay. All right, back to you. Protect. And shadow sneak. Boom. We also actually gained HP there, which is pretty nice. I can protect one more time, which I might as which I need to do so I can add more it's going muddy water. It's no big deal. Yeah, easy. Okay. Eat seed. Okay, got it. Oh, wow. Leech seed is going crazy right now. All right, full HP. Look at that leech seed. Okay, we set up a stealth rock this turn. Why not? Extra damage. Thanks to Belly Bolt for being... Freaking massive. Okay, there we go. We go fake out. Let's just go here. Yep, nothing. Okay, we protect. Ice punch again. Can go back here, I think, for ice punch pretty easily. It wouldn't go. It can't go drain punch. That would be. That'd be stupid. And iron barbs. Yes. Yes. Another time where it would have gone perfectly, but I threw again. But the good thing is. We only lost one Pokemon, so... The theme of this video continues, a stupid loss. But at this point, we are on my best run ever, so I really can't complain. That win leads us to the inevitable. A rematch with our nemesis, Brock. Alright, I think it's time, guys. Time to do it. I'm so nervous, because this is where we lost last time! The first time, our best run ever, we lost to Brock on the rematch. We've made it farther, technically, because we've done the other three rematches. We're finishing with Brock, because he's been tough, and the Aerodactyl screwed us. Let's see if we can do this. Here we go. All right. Leader Brock. Okay. Okay. We defog. Oh, close combat. Interesting. I'm going to go for Surf. Take it out. All right, great start. All right, I think we go to Lucario. I think it's just the best move. Okay, that's good. Aura Sphere. Oh, I didn't think about the weakness policy. It will strike first. Okay, it will strike first. 
Okay. All right. Here's the Aerodactyl. Here's the big boy. All right. Let's go. Okay. There's the earthquake. Yes! The witch is dead! Ding dong! Jared, well done. And no more perfect timing for no more sand. Maybe I do go here. Jute. All right, swap. Okay, I think Ferrothorn's the play. Could protect, just a scout. Earthquake, okay. Okay, juked again. Flip turn, yep. I think it's just Meganium. Okay, Arcanine. This thing wants to go Flare Blitz. I gotta remember it has extreme speed. It's like our best move, I think. Did a lot. Okay, there goes our, our air balloon. Doesn't matter. I think we just do this. Head smash. Just don't go Flare Blitz. That would, that would be stupid. And then it dies. Perfect. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. All right, Omastar. I wish we still had a f an attacking move. We could just kill this thing. Let's do that. Okay, so Giga Drain, in theory, should kill. Yes, it has been done! Brock has been defeated! Let's go! And finally, we didn't lose a Pokemon. Yes, this was an amazing feeling. A clean, no-loss fight that avenged our previous run. We're on to completely uncharted territory from here on out. I have an idea of what is left, but this is Radical Red, so I'm expecting some major curveballs. Defeating all four gym leader rematches unlocked Koga for our first time ever. He's rocking choice items, life orbs, and a mega Pokemon. This won't be easy. All right. Oh! We finally made it to Koga. Zen headbutt. Good start. Just how we like it. Greninja. Okay, yes. Just what we wanted. So it is an easy Meganium swap. Here we go. Yes, perfect. And he takes damage because of the, uh, the orb. I forgot about that. Okay, he didn't swap. So this is not going to kill. Okay. We have our berry. Could swap here. Don't crit. Oh, we got our sludge too. Let's just Thunderbolt. Okay, you turn. Okay, it is Toxtricity. Okay, and we didn't lose too much HP there thanks to the black sludge. So that means it's a free swap to Rune. And then he'll go ahead and power grass, hopefully. So, Earthquake it is. Oh, I didn't give him the... Oh, I didn't give him the berry because we have our Shadow Shield. That's right. But now's the time to swap. Then he's going to go close combat, probably. Okay, we should kill this because it just lost defense. Okay, here we go. That was not a high roll. Okay, I just think we go for the roll. Because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 roll, 12, 13 rolls out of 16, according to the calc. 13 rolls out of 16 do not kill. 3 out of 16 do kill. So you just gotta believe, chat. Come on. Let's go. Give me some luck. I need it. I need it to click close combat. Lucario, PK, you've been around on this run almost the whole time. Come on, PK! You've got this! Yes! Now take it out with the justified boost! Blast its head off! Close combat to the face! Let's go! Oh, that is huge! Come on, Lucario. I'm clicking extreme speed. I believe in you. You're not gonna let me down. Do it! Do it! Yes! All right, last Pokemon. Lucario coming in clutch and finishing the fight! Koga! Deathless! Let's go! Ah, oh, we've proven our worth! Take the soul badge! Oh my gosh! Sludge Bomb TM! Lucario holds on, and from there, priorities its way to victory. A massive no-loss win for us, and we are really starting to make great progress on this run. Defeating Koga unlocks Cinnabar, which has an added May rival fight in this game. We only see her in the game once, so let's hope that one time doesn't ruin us. Alright, May, we've lost to Brendan before. Now we take on Trainer May. 
Hey, it's flip turn right into our guy. Okay, that did good damage. Please don't explode. Stealth rock, good. Okay, we set up toxic spikes. Okay, we need to go straight to Palafin. Okay, took damage, gets the speed boost. Jet Punch should take it out. Come on, Palafin! Take down the angry chicken! Yes! That was the one I was most worried about. Okay, this is just where we go. Okay, why not protect? Because it doesn't have anything that's going to screw us. Okay, let's do this. Air balloon popped. It might swap because they like to do that at the last second, but we just drain kiss here. Yes! It's locked into overheat. Okay. It's got to be lantern. Let's go. We take a little damage. Okay. So we lose a special attack too. So we, he's falling apart. All right. Yes! Predicted! Oh, poison eel! Crap! Okay. We got good damage there. Let's just go here. Haha! -ha, doesn't affect me. Okay. I think earthquake's the smart move. Okay, sure. It's just attacking. Bullet we'll power. Okay, it, it can do that. That's a little scary. Okay, thank goodness. Whew. All right, so we got rid of that. All right, soul rock time. Now we just go back here, I think. Second toxic spikes. Dad gummit. Okay, I think we just go here where iron barbs and everything. That felt like more than 32 to 38 percent. I'm not gonna lie. Crit shouldn't kill. Yes. All right, there goes the relicanth. We can just go protect and then swap. Okay, we go to lantern. Take some stones damage. That did a lot more than I was hoping it would do. Okay, that works. That works. That works. All right. Jet punch twice. Let's go! May Deathless! Oh! Another epic Deathless win, which leads us to one of the scariest fights yet, the seventh gym leader, Blaine. He's in constant sun and is rocking some absurd Pokemon. Here we go. It's Blaine time. Seventh gym leader. All right, here we go. We just click Volt Switch. We don't have to Mega Evolve. We don't have to Protect. All right, lowers defense. Great start. One HP. No glitches. We survived. Right into Blaziken. Okay, here we go. We mega evolved! Yes! <laughs> All that thinking for nothing. Okay, Scov Scovillian. Okay, now we blaze kick. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. We need to hold one time. We can do this. Blaziken, I believe in you. Yes! Okay. Okay, so now it doesn't outspeed, correct? All right. It's shiny! It has a shiny? Blaze kick. <sighs> okay. Okay. We just hit with a rock slide because we're super fast. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh. I hate sweeping. It's so nerve wracking. Like every button, I'm so careful. Oh, we did it! Blaine! Yes! Well, I guess the fight isn't too hard with Mega Blaze again, thanks to a random fire starter egg. But don't worry, the hardest fights are just around the corner. After defeating Blaine, in normal red, you'd have access to Giovanni's gym, but in radical red, you have to go to Cerulean Cave where you're challenged to a back-to-back -back fight with Archer and Ariana with no healing in between. This is essentially an eight on six battle. After multiple hours of planning, I finally took the challenge. Oh, uh, two and a half hours of planning. Will it end the run? We start off with an iron head and then we bullet punch him. That's the plan. Okay, we never planned for this. The, the plan's already off the rails. Okay, good. Yes, 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 yes. yes. All right, I think we have to go here. Here we go. Yes! Fiery Wrath! That was not on the radar. 
I think it might go sword stance here. It's either a swap or sword stance. Let's go for it. Or sword stance. Okay, we broke the. Oh, we got the bird! It healed. Okay, okay, okay. We got a haze here. I think he's probably going for another one because he only does 47. So let's go haze. Oh, okay. That's surprising. He has a sword stance. Let's scald here. Okay, he's just attacking. I'm gonna recover. There it is. Okay, we're full HP. It's gonna probably attack, but I'm gonna haze to be safe. Okay, I am going to now scald. Bird, yes! I'm gonna recover. Wait, I'm gonna have to swap again. That'll heal me a third. Let's just go here. We protect. Yes! We go here. <gasps> That's what you mean by flinch chance. Yes! We gotta go here. Good. Okay. Good. Ouch. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that did not... It went well until the end, and that changed everything. Okay. One down. Okay, we got three Pokemon left. All right, let's go here. Oh, I didn't expect it to go superpower right there. All right, Cloyster, do your thing. Oh, what? We're alive! Wait, what? If we know he's going for sucker, though, let's protect. It went for superpower. Wait. Hodgecrow, if you don't click superpower, I'm going to be very angry. Yes! Let's go, Cloyster! Doing your thing. Okay, Rhyperior's out next. Okay, chat. Send Johnny your luck for everything he's done in this fight. Really, this fight, he hasn't done anything in the run. Johnny, you have one chance to go out in a blaze of glory. Take down this Rhyperior right now! Oh, we forgot about weakness policy. Kingdra with Surf. Take it down. Okay, good. First, we'll go here. All right, we need some luck. Come on. Come on. Please be... I don't even know what I want. Sucker punch. He did go for suck. The bird! Let's go! We got the bird! Okay. He might go for swords dance now that he's burned. I think we recover. Oh, baby. I guess we just scald now. Oh, baby. Oh, my attack fell. That's fine. Okay, there we go. The first turn burn. Ah, the double battle. We only lost one Pokemon, and it was probably objectively the worst Pokemon we were using there. Wow, that was... That went super well, actually. Wow, you guys don't know how stressful planning for that fight was. Oh, and there's an even harder one downstairs. Meet Giovanni and his Mewtwo that also becomes Mega Mewtwo after it dies, while we have random Lance AI on our side. This should go well. Here we go. It's Geo time. These are not his best Pokemon. All right, Intimidate, suck it. Oh, I forgot to give Dragapult a minus one. Mega Evolve Hyper Voice, right? Go, baby. Do your thing! Yeah! That's how you start! No, he sent the Mewtwo out! Oh, no. What do we do now? It has to be here. <gasps> A crit! Oh, okay! A crit! Please attack Mewtwo. Good job. Oh, it's so good to attack! Oh, no. Oh, we're alive! And you swords dance! Salamence, you've got to survive on one HP and crush that Mega Mewtwo. Get a crit, please. Oh, it attacked me! Yes! Yes! Why'd you attack that? No! At least it didn't burn. That would have been so bad. Okay, that could have been worse. I think it has to be Gardevoir. Okay, there's the sand stream. Come on, Salamence, do your thing! Yes, Mewtwo's gone. Don't crunch me. Dang it! The good side is, we lose Gardevoir, which sucks. But we turn the rain back on. I think it's Protect. Here we go. Come on, Salamence. 
Good, you hit the right Pokemon! Yes! Good job, Salamence! Lance! Uh, I didn't know it had that move. Pelipper! Your last chance! I believe in you! You will simply not die! Oh, it raises speed again! I burned it! Yes! Protect! We win! If you smell we win! Rock is cooking. Yes! Ah, oh, the skull bird wins the fight! Giovanni and his cheating Mewtwo's have been defeated! Pelipper MVP! Oh, let's go! Yeah, 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 Giovanni. G shut your yapper, buddy. Man, that was definitely the toughest and most RNG-filled fight of the entire run. Giovanni literally gets seven Pokemon, but even after KOing his Mewtwo, it gets an instant res and still gets to attack. But even with all that, we were able to scrap out a win, though we did lose two nice Pokemon in the process. And you might be wondering, do I immediately have to fight Giovanni again for the final badge? Nope. Radical Red made Claire the final gym leader, so it's time for more dragons. Claire! Let's take it over for Giovanni. Here we go. I think Volt Switch is the play. Taunt again. Okay. Outplayed. Very nice. We go right to our keys. Okay, we've been taunted again. Okay. All right, let's go for foul play. Okay, it sets up rocks. Okay, now it has to go to hit us, right? Okay, we do. We take the damage. Eject button. We go right to Lucario. Lucario takes a little damage. We Mega Evolve first, then we Agility. Yeah. Let's go here. Uh, protect. Taunt. Okay, can't use it. Thunder Wave. <gasps> okay. It went to Naganadel. So we go in here, we take Flamethrower, we Roost. Okay, sure. That did a lot more than it said it was going to. No crit. Okay, let's, ju let's just Roost. Yes! Thunderbolt, here we go. Be paralyzed! Okay, okay, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive! Roost it. There we go. Okay. Why'd that- Oh, took rock damage. Okay, Roaring Moon's in. We gotta go here. T-wave now, right? That's what we did this for. There it goes. No. Oh, it's over. We have to go for it. Thank you for hitting that time. Okay, I'm gonna go protect. Okay, good. All right. Iron Barb's body press! Let's go! Oh, I thought it was gonna kill. It didn't kill. That's still good. Yeah, I think we have to protect. Okay, yeah, now it's going Earthquake. All right, it's Sack Ferrothorn. Vindication for that missed thunder wave. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. We tank that. Okay. I would love if you would pivot right now. Please pivot for free damage. Please pivot. Oh, please. I'm begging you to pivot. Okay. That's nothing. Ow. Okay. All right, we got it. All right, Duraludon, Ferrothorn, you've been you've been an incredible Pokemon. This is this was a hard. It wasn't even a decision. It's our only option. It's our only option. Thank you for what you did. You saved us with that with that body press. Hit the range. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Aerodactyl almost died too. Dude, that thing's on 1 HP! You gotta be kidding me! All oh, those stones kill. Taunt! Okay! Bolt switch. He just murdered his Aerodactyl. We outspeed this thing too, which is nice. Alright, we heal a little bit. Oh, this thing has leftovers? Great. I'm, I'm gonna heal. There's the shift gear. Okay, loses special attack. That's good. 
We just go for it again. Okay, it's losing special attack. This is fantastic. Let's just, uh, Thunderbolt. Yes. Oh my gosh! The longest fight in Nuzlocke in history! How did we only lose one Pokemon? Oh my gosh, Aerod I forgot you. I forgot you had Aerodactyl that she murdered. So, uh, Claire, why why did you murder your Aerodactyl? Ah! <laughs> oh, Ferrothorn, you will indeed be missed. You were an incredible Pokemon. Wow, I was beyond lucky to make it out alive. We attempted to set up a sweep of Lucario, but made a mistake in our calculations, causing us to have to go completely off script. Mid-fight, I was sure we had lost the run, but somehow we made it out with only one loss, though it was a really awesome Pokemon in Ferrothorn. With that, all eight badges have been assembled, and it's time to head to Victory Road. But not before we take on our rival once more. Dr. P! We meet again! What have you got in store this time? Stealth Rock turn one. Not Charizard, not Charizard, not Charizard, not Charizard. Azumarill, yes, that doesn't matter. Right to Pex. Okay, we recover. I think maybe a Scald turn would be smart. This is not doing that much to us. Let's, let's do that. Okay. We burned it, let's go. We burned it, oh my gosh. Sludge Bomb, uh, yeah, I'll Sludge Bomb once. Okay, now I'm gonna recover this turn. Get full HP. I'm just gonna take it out now. All right, Toxapex! I'm just getting Baneful. Okay, he's going U-turn. I'm gonna Scald. Okay, good choice. Let's go to U. I think we just go Low Kick. I forgot about the Berry. I guess that was already calcing that. Okay, popped our air balloon, but we took it out. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, good. Oh, good. Sure. Why not? All right. It also hurts itself, which makes that nice and simple. Okay, more damage on the Star Raptor. So I'm just going to go protect first. Okay, it's going U turn. It's going to do it again. It's going to do it again. Yep. Okay. 1 HP? You gotta be kidding me. Oh wait, oh wait, we have Pryo, we have Pryo. We just go for Shadow Sneak. Okay, more damage. Uh, we can go for a Protect. Okay, still U-turn, it's locked into that. We are gonna take a lot from- Oh wait, no, we're not gonna take- We have, uh, we have our ability, so we're fine. He's still going U-turn, he's locked into it. Okay, that might have been the easiest fight we've had in- multiple streams um wow that actually was easy we had perfect counters to every pokemon in a game like radical red it can be nice to have an easy win every once in a while but just in case you thought that was too easy radical red devs decided to add a second rival fight right in front of victory road and he's rocking four legendaries ah! i'm super scared you just gotta believe chat come on here we go. Brendan, prepare to die. Got destroyed and ran away. Look, if you get destroyed and then destroy us, I'm going to be very angry. Look, I can forgive you as long as you lose to us right now. And don't take any of our Pokemon out either. All right, Brendan. Deoxys, you cheater. We go Shadow Claw turn one because it's going to go for... I think it's Ice Beam that's going for. All right. Wait, why did our ability not kick in? Why did you do so much? I thought it was only supposed to do a quarter. We're still fine. Uh, we just Shadow Sneak. Okay, there goes Deoxys. Huntail. Okay, so it did go for the super effective move, which is interesting. Okay, there it goes. We are now going to take some damage, but we have our Yachi Berry, which will help. So we're going to Thunderbolt. It wasted the White Herb. It wasted the White Herb. I did not expect that. It's just Rhyperior. Okay. Okay, dodged. Very nice. I'm just gonna Ice Shard. Oh, it killed! The Calc said it wasn't gonna kill! Okay! Maybe it was a range or something. Please! Close combat! Do it, Zapdos! Yes! All right, so it's locked in because of Choice Band. So it's probably going to pivot out because it can't hit us, which means it's it doesn't even matter what it goes to. I think Will-O-Wisp will hit anything, basically, right? Okay, that's all you got to do is hit. Just hit! Huntail, okay. 
Intimidate, sure, whatever. Hit. Yes! Rune! Plus, we're recovering a ton of HP right now. Here we go. Shell smash. There it goes. Okay, did it again. Thunderbolt should kill. Yes! Plus, we got a lot of HP left for uh, Zapdos, which is really good. I think we just have to go in and hope. It did swap. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Blaze kick. Oh, I forgot about blaze kick. That's a hundred percent. Oh, please no burn. Please no burn. Please no burn. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we just rock blast. This goes crazy on everybody. Yeah, so Jirachi. Oh, it does nothing. Does he steal? That still did good damage. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go here. I might volt switch this time. Okay, sure. Oh, that's great. That gives us Meganium. He could pivot out to Zapdos, but we could get free fairy damage. I think that Dazzling Gloom is pretty good here. Here it comes. Sword Stance. Okay. Kiss should kill. Here we go. Take it out. Oh, yes. Even better. Oh, it's just making it easy on us. Free damage. It's going to pivot out. Unfortunately, it's doing a lot of damage to Fortress, which I do not like. I'm going to go Volt Switch again until it stops swapping. Yes. Yes. Come on, baby. You got this now, though. Zapdos, take it down. Yeah, baby. If Meganium's the last one in, it's going to be baited in Iron Head. It's good for Zapdos. So, yeah, let's do that. All right. Volt switch again. Okay. Extra damage. Go right to Meganium. We draining kiss. Is this just going to keep doing this? We're gonna get a static proc right here. Okay, no static proc. He's gotta hope. Okay, okay, we heal up. That'll work. Scale shot, juked. Okay, I think it's just stick with draining kiss. It doesn't do that much less. All right, iron head again, but we're full HP, so we just go here. No static proc. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Agility, yeah, agility. We just fit. We, then we're just faster. Yeah, let's just do that. Perfect. We drill peck. Just take it out. It's that easy. It's that easy. That was an easy fight. It turned out that worked out beautifully. Okay. Turns out four legendaries isn't too bad if you have the right team for them. Now Victory Road has six mini bosses for us to take on and we breeze right through them with no issue. Well, that is until we run into an undocumented duo right at the end of the cave. Surely they won't challenge us with perfect encounters to our entire team while also giving us no knowledge of their abilities, items, or movesets, right? These people aren't going to fight me, are they? Who are these people? All right, two Pokemon. Nitto of course, I'm weak to Earthquake on both of these. They're not going to use Earthquake though, right? They both know Earth Power. Great. Awesome. Everything I have is weak to earth power. So Giga Drain, Nitto King, protect here. Come on, dude. Why is my monitor? being weird i feel like we're getting freaking scammed over here we're also probably not gonna win this fight <laughs> it's gotta be metagross i think if we go zen headbutt here and then we go swap here oh my gosh i'm so pissed uh i think we're dead honestly i think we're about to wipe i don't think there's anything we can do we're just dead yeah and the mods are level 85 i didn't even notice that okay pivot here and then we poison jab Thank the Lord. That was still stupid as heck. The stupidest thing that's happened in this run. That was bullcrap. Everything about it was bullcrap. Oh, 
Oh, I'm still peeved by this fight. Every time there's an unskippable fight in Radical Red, the fight is documented. But this double battle is nowhere to be found. Also, most mini bosses aren't the same level as your Pokemon, but this one was. And of course, I walk into this battle with five Pokemon who get wrecked by Earth Power and one who isn't four times as weak to Sludge Bomb. To be honest, it was probably my fault for not having a more balanced team ready, but because they weren't in the docks and it was unskippable, I thought it was going to be two trainers congratulating you for making it through Victory Road. I didn't actually expect it to be a fight. But wow, I'm lucky to just be alive after that. Fortunately for me, I get to face the creator of the game right after this, and of course I give him a piece of my mind. I'm the creator! Whoa! Screw you for that double battle, creator! You suck! Alright, I hope you know that. Wait. I thought you said that we don't have to do anything. What do you mean? I guess I'm just gonna shadow sneak every time? Uh. Yeah, you are a DA creator, okay? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Oh, Metagross side! Did you just give me Metagross side, you piece of crap? You piece of crap! Get that out of here! I don't want your Metagross site after your stupid double battle was not in the docks! I'm so annoyed. We had lost a Pokemon in forever. And then we get this stupid double battle that they make you fight. Both of them no Earth Power. My entire team is weak to it. Ugh! Well, at least that rant made me feel better. Time to take on the game's final challenge, the Elite Four. This game has already been ridiculously difficult to plan for, but five straight battles using the same six Pokemon really tested myself and chat's abilities. A few things that make Radical Red's Elite Four even harder than a standard game, besides the ridiculous teams, abilities, items, and moves, is that each member has two separate teams that they can run against you. They all lead different Pokemon, have different moves, and different ways to crush you. So when planning for the Elite Four, you aren't just planning for five trainers, you're essentially planning for ten trainers with only six Pokemon. This makes planning extremely complicated. After three hours, here's the team myself and chat came up with. Drought Torkoal, Quark Drive Iron Bundle, Shadow Shield Runerigus, Static Zapdos, Inner Focus Lucario, and Storm Drain Mantine. With only about 20 Pokemon to choose from, I think this team is about as good as it gets for the final challenge of the run. Let's see if I was right. Let's do this. This is the 21st stream. We've done like 40, 50 hours of playing. It's a double battle as well. Politoed and Polyrath to lead off. All right. Drizzle. Uh, we have Drought. Booster Energy. We get to go super fast. I am going to go for the Politoed. Then I'm going to flip turn into our Storm Drain Mantine. All right. We broke the Sash. Hopefully he goes for water moves and attacks Torkoal. Okay. Close combat. That's still a lot of damage. No rain dance, please. There's the rain dance. Okay, okay. Yeah, we just go for uh, Thunderbolt here. How is that thing outspeeding me? I don't know how it's outspeeding me. Okay, he went for Haze. Whatever, sure. All right, Solar Beam time. All right, I don't know how much this is going to do cuz yeah, cuz of no rain or cuz of the rain. All right, now this makes it interesting. This is bad. So we have to go Zapdos, we protect. Please cooperate. Earthquake your own guy. Wait, is he going to hurt his own guy? It attacked its own Pokémon. Oh, it almost killed it. Oh, I forgot about that part. Okay, we heal a little bit from Black Sludge. Sunny day. And then swap into room. Oh, perfect! Power up punch! Okay, the Politoed's still alive. Okay, okay, that's nice. Okay, Naldo, you're going here, and then you are going into Mantine. <gasps> oh! That's not what I meant to click. But now he outspeeds us. That's so bad. So if we freeze dry here and then we go here. Come on, AI. Turn on, turn on that sun. Turn up the sun, baby. Okay, we freeze dry. Please kill. It's a rage. Hit the rage, baby. Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> Okay, the stupid Swampert is dead. All right. Whoo. 
All right, Iron Bundle, I see you. Okay. Take it down. Take down the Suicu looking dude. Okay. There's the rain dance. Okay. Mantine's healing up. Iron Bundle. Flip turn. Break the sash. You're going to protect. Okay. Never punished. Uh, we can't use it. Storm Drain. I didn't realize it does it on your own side. I was... I... Storm Drain does it again. Okay. Good damage. Okay. There's a haze. Okay. Rain Dance. We're going to heal a little bit. All right. The big one. The Primal Kyogre, which is pretty awesome. Protect. Thunderbolt. Okay, that seems like a good range. No frostbite, please. Okay, good. Okay, he's still locked in haze. Freeze dry here. Thunderbolt here. Take it down! Iron bundle! Well, you're, you're, you're part of it. You're not going to take it down. Mantine! Finish the job! Let's go! Thank you, Politoed. <laughs> Just using haze over and over. Freeze dry... Thunderbolt. We basically played two on one that whole fight. All right, one down. We somehow didn't lose anybody. Oh my goodness. Wow. I was not originally planning to keep the toad alive the entire fight, but man, did it help us big time. It was essentially a 2v1 the whole time, and I still almost lost Pokemon. Next, we have to talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. No, we're not going to be talking about Bruno when he waxes us. Please have the right team. Come on. Show us that ugly elephant. No! Yeah, I think it's just flip turn into rune. We could have protected to scowl, but that'd be stupid. You know, it's taunt and freaking stealth rock. Come on, close combat. Okay, it always goes taunt, I guess. Okay, well, let's see if he attacks us. Okay, stealth rock. Oh, gosh, I hate that. So Lucario will also have that damage, too. All right, one down. Oh, let's just click earthquake. I think we have to do it. Okay. That's huge. Does half. Come on. No crit. No crit. Earthquake. You got this. Hold on. Yes. Earthquake. Take him down. Okay. Two down. <laughs> okay. Iron Valiant's in. We're, and thank goodness Taunt is gone. Oh, that's perfect timing. Okay. Moonblast. Leftovers. Mantine Swap. Stupid stones. What's the second effect of Moonblast? I don't want to find out now. Just tell me in the chat. Don't find out. Don't find out. Don't find out. Don't find out. Don't. Oh, a special attack drop. So I think we just Thunderbolt. Okay. Yeah. Good call. Trepid sword attack rises. Hopefully this does something to it. Oh, it's, it's neutral too. Unfortunately, I have a stupid special drop. This is all about Torkoal right here. Torkoal swap. We overheat. Here we go. Sunlight got bright. There's the swords dance we expected. Okay. Just don't get crit. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Yes! Torkoal! And the special defense drop. Overheat to the face. There's no way it's surviving that. Torkoal, the fiery turtle. Sunlight's out. Okay, problem is it's going to be like every move is going to kill us. So we don't really know what to... I guess we can protect, but this thing probably has a... This thing has swords dance too. Okay, here we go. Just give a static here. Close combat, yes! That did way more than it said it was going to do. Use swords dance. Come on, use swords. Or sucker punch. Worst case. Good thing we know what it's going to do though. Sky uppercut. Take him down. I hate watching this. I hate watching you go so slow. Iron Valiant. It should not boost your energy anymore. Yes, so that's that's good. Wait, th how fast is it then? How fast is it? 250? It's got to be Thunderbolt. Come on, Mantine. Oh my gosh, a special defense drop. I was about to say this is best case scenario. A special defense drop is really... That is huge! That is huge! That changes everything! We roost! We only have five roosts. Or a sphere. 
You know, we can actually protect now. There's there's almost no way we get out of this without losing a Pokemon. All right, we just got to click Thunderbolt, I think. Okay. A crit next time would be fantastic. Can we maybe get that? Okay. Maybe go close combat. That'd be nice. Close combat. Please go close combat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do not click Swords Dance. Do not do it. Yes! Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh! We're alive! Not as critical hit. Okay, so we're dead to another close combat. Come on, Zapdos, do your thing. Static this sucker. Okay, good. We'll take that. Okay, no static. No static. We are a little lower than I was expecting. This might be random. Let's protect and see. Okay, still going close combat. At least that turn. I think we have to go rune. That's our best move. Rune, shadow sneak. Come on, Lucario. Cooperate with us. Just use your close combat on our ghost. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Just, just use Meteor Mash. Yes! Take it down! Oh, oh my gosh! How are we out alive? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, he used the wrong team, but somehow we survive with no losses. This run, it seems destined to win. All I have to do is not screw it up. Here we go, guys. Uh, I don't even know which which team to hope for. Probably the second team, but then we have to deal with the nasty plot stuff, so we'll find out. Here we go. Agatha time. All right. She sends out Gengar. That doesn't tell us anything. Let's just hit Ice Beam. Come on, come on, come on. High range, high range, high range. That felt really low. So it's team two. That's good, I think. Zorark is a dope Pokemon. That's all I gotta say. Look at that thing. Looks sweet. It is Fluttermane. All right, Ian. Hold on. Do not get crit. You've got to hit this flip turn. Take down this fluttery mane. Survive. Yes. Let's go, Ian. All right. We go Zapdos. Thunder Wave it is. No crit. No crit. No crit. No crit. No crit. Okay, nice. All right, I'm gonna roost. We have a better chance of it working out for us, and hopefully it does. Yes, yes! First turn, we didn't even have to fish. All right, we just go ahead and bolt beak. We take this thing down. We outspeed, so we should do a lot more damage. And a crit, we'll take it. Oh, Marshadow, we can break the sash, wait. I'm gonna go volt switch. I think it's gonna bulk up. Yeah, there it is. So it's plus one, plus one. A crit here would be great. That seems like a lot, actually. That was a high range. And yeah, just gotta be Torkoal. Torkoal, do your thing and avoid this crit and then blow it to pieces. Hold on. Yes! That was a definite death. Let's go. Overheat. Destroy the shadow. Go back to the shadow. What's the next one? Goldango. Oh, Goldango. Please go for Focus Blast. Oh my gosh. Volt switch. High range, please. That didn't seem like a high range. There's the nasty plot. Just bolt beak. All right. Hit that range, baby. Take it out. High roll. Oh, no. Okay. It didn't crit. It didn't crit. So we didn't get completely punished. Oh, there's our first missed range. Volt switch, we outspeed. All right, well done, Zapdos. So Lucario is gonna bait the Gengar. If it doesn't, we're fine, because it's just one shot. So either way, we're in good shape. We are air, I didn't take the air balloon off. That, uh, is that gonna change anything? Okay, it goes Gengar. Okay, this, is, this still works the same. All right, we just go here, we take out the Gengar. I don't see any reason not to. Wouldn't go Shadow Ball here. Focus Blast, buddy. Good. Well done. Just Earthquake. Okay, it's going for Earth... Okay, we shouldn't take too much from this because of our berry and our ability. Good. 
good. Maybe we can survive hit one hit from Xian Pao, so that way we can uh, kill next turn. All right, take down the Gengar. Nice. This would be over if I wasn't stupid. Protect, I think. We don't have lefties, but but just for a turn, I guess. Icicle crash. All right, well, let's just go for it. Please miss. Okay, it's back to crunch. Just less damage for... That was like a max roll. It's got to be Zapdos. Zapdos, we need... We need a massive crit. We are a, a massive static. No crit, please. Use your legendary powers! Send me a look in the chat. Come on, guys. That's it. We're screwed. Ah! Wait. How are we alive? <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, we always protect. Okay, Crunch is definitely gonna kill here. So mad, dude. We should have been out of this unscathed if I just put the right item on there. So stupid. Man, Titan, you gotta avoid crit. Please don't let us lose like this. I'm just burning PP. Why not? Okay, it's going Icicle Crash for the flinch. Oh, no. Oh, if we flinch, we're, we're completely screwed. Lime, please. Please. I'm begging you. Do not flinch. We lost the run because we didn't put a freaking item on there. Come on! You gotta be kidding me! What in the world are these chances? Golly! Go to Lucario. Take the hit. Go for a crit. Okay. Sacred Sword definitely kills. We have to go for Mach Punch. We don't outspeed. We need a crit or we... The run's basically over with four Pokemon, but yeah. That's it. That's the end of the run. Unbelievable. What an absolutely awful throw. We might not even make it out of this fight. If we get crit here, we don't make it out of this fight. Okay. Didn't get crit. Unbelievable. What a massive choke. I checked our items like 50 times, and I still somehow didn't notice that. Ah. <sighs> I can't believe I screwed it up. As you might have guessed, losing those two Pokemon unnecessarily was enough to end my bid for the Pokemon Champion. I gave Lance a try, but with only four Pokemon, it simply was not possible. Unbelievable. After three months of real time, I finally make the Elite Four, have a great run going, and one forgotten item essentially ends what was an incredible run. I am unbelievably frustrated with myself because the run didn't end due to a crit range, unlucky flinch, paralysis, or anything of the sort, but because I made a dumb mistake. But honestly, that fits the theme of the video. I'm not a perfect Nuzlocker. I make mistakes all the time, but look how far I made it. Having never even made it to the sixth gym, I was able to get to the second to last fight in the entire game. I couldn't have done it without chat there to help me learn more about Pokemon constantly, and the next nav made it much more consistent too. So while I'm writing this the night of the tragic loss, I'm also encouraged by the potential to come back and win this thing in the future. So if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And if you think I should give this thing another shot, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, take care, and check out one of the videos on the screen.